from Hebrews 4, 12 that says, for the Word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. And that's the thing I think we forget. It isn't just like you're just saying some mantra mm -hmm. over right. and over. That's just some and empty words. Keeps saying, this thing, and it judges the attitudes of your heart. Yes, and right. it, exactly, that, it exposes it, that. our innermost thoughts yeah. and desires. That's what it does. And so right. that's why it's so powerful. Yes, alive and active. Yeah. One of the ways I fight that negative self-talk, and I started this back when I was in college, and I was engaged to somebody I shouldn't be, and I was had bulimia and just a mess, and I had so much negative self-talk, and so it might sound like such an elementary thing to do, um, but I started reading the Word of God out loud, yep. yeah, where exactly. it wasn't yes. this thing that I was just reading it, but I was reading it out loud, and then I started memorizing it because right. I'd read the same thing over again. So I'd start walking and right. saying it out loud. And then, yeah. and you know, it's funny is you might feel ridiculous when you're doing it at first, um, but one of the ways to just, when you have the thought and the thing, you, you can't think of something else when your mouth is going. Exactly so right. when your mouth is going yeah. and saying the word of God, it automatically Canceling is out. gonna cancel yeah. out the thoughts that are in your mind. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, after you start doing it over and over and over again, it's gonna start spilling out That's of right, you Natalie. because it's in there. And just the other day, I've got one daughter in particular that struggles with some negative self-talk. And I thought she was on the phone. I said, who are you talking to? And she said, I was reading the word out loud. Hey. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> because she started to realize, well, wait a yeah. second, you're yeah. right. I gotta start yeah. saying this thing out loud because yeah. I don't believe it right now. I don't feel it right now. Yeah. But I need to shut up the thoughts that are going in my, in my yeah. mind. So I'm gonna open my mouth and begin to read the word of God out loud. And I think, you know, if you're watching right now and you haven't tried that, try it. Right. <laughs> try it. You might feel funny. Your family might look at you funny. But I'm telling you, mm -hmm. reading the Word of God out loud is, yeah. is kind of literally good. Confessing the Word of God is probably one of the number one things that is God has used to set me free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And He taught me how to do this before I ever heard a message on it mm -hmm. at all. I was so negative, and God started dealing with me about not being negative. Yes. So I really tried for like six months. I thought I really tried to be positive, but I still wasn't seeing many changes. And so I said to the Lord, okay, I've been trying to do what you told me to do. I'm not being negative. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying negative things. <laughs> but then I heard the Lord say, but you're not saying anything positive yet either. Mm -hmm. Well, so mm -hmm. I, I stopped doing the wrong thing, but I didn't yeah. start doing the right thing. Yeah, there you go. And yeah. he had me do my homework, and I made a list of 60 confessions mm -hmm. that were all, I had scripture to back every one of them up. Yeah. Yes. Not one of the things that I said was, a re, was true in my life mm -hmm. right then, but, but it was truth. the truth of God's wow. Word. Right. Wow. And, I can, and twice thing. a day, mm -hmm. every day, yep. I would say those out loud, and I can tell you every single thing on that list yep. is a reality in my Come life on. right now. <laughs> it's miraculous mm -hmm. when yes. I think about it because, yes. like, I was so hungry to preach the word and I had never had a speaking engagement and I so I wanted somebody to call me and ask mm. me to come teach their Bible study or come preach at their church. And so I started saying, every day I get speaking engagements by mail, by phone, and in person. Well, of course now, you know, we can't, <laughs> can't, keep can't stop it. turn yeah. it down yeah. so, so many things yeah. we can't yeah. even take. Yeah. But it, it's amazing. Yeah. I, I would confess, I love people and people love me. And, Hardly anybody could stand me then because I was so obnoxious. <laughs> anybody who knows how to worry knows how to meditate. Come on. Mm, oh my goodness. On. It's so funny yes. because we've made this thing, I don't know, especially, you know, my pastor sitting here, but people get a little bit wary of, oh, that's just the power of positive thinking. Right. Like, oh, that's just, that's like a self-talk, like power. Po You're like, no, actually, when you get down to it, the power of positive thinking is yeah, thank you. Is meditating the word. on the word I'm day an and night. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yeah. me. I'm right. fearfully and wonderfully yeah. made. And all of a sudden you're like, But Wait. there's declaration yes. in our words yes. and it's a double-edged sword. Yeah. So God, we yes. are made in His image. Yes. He spoke things into being. Right. We yes. speak things into being as well. We serve a God who yes. calls things that be That's not right. as if they already yes. existed. That's right. Romans 4.18. That's right. Absolutely. You know, and I love that God 
called out people and he changed their names, he changed their identity. Yeah. Once they believed in that identity mm -hmm. that yeah. they were in Christ, they wouldn't change the world. That's you know, think right. about yeah. Gideon. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, Gideon's Gideon army <laughs> and he was so afraid, you know. So it changes the way we think and then it changes the way we live when yeah. we live in the identity of Christ, who he says we are. And so that meditation, that giving thanks, that I am fearfully and wonderfully yes. made. I am the righteousness of God. I am a new cre creation in Christ every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I need that every day. Mm -hmm. Old things are passed away. Yes. Everything the Bible says that today. angels hearken to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we want angels to work for us, yeah. if we confess the word of God out loud, yes. then yes. they will be able to do so much more in our lives. Mm -hmm. When you speak, mm -hmm. You eat those words. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Good or bad. They become part of yes. you. Yes. So when you when you declare things out loud, and David said all the time, I declare. Yes. I, you know, I, yes. When he said, This is the day the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad. I don't think it was because he felt, felt so like great that right. day. Yeah. yeah. I think he was making a declaration about how he would yes. live yeah. that day. 100%. And so if you really think about it. It is one of the most powerful yeah, things. It is the word you you actually referenced this scripture, Alex, from Hebrews four twelve that says, "For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow." And that's the thing I think we forget. It isn't just like you're just saying some mantra mm -hmm. over right. and over. That's just some and empty it words. Keeps saying, this thing and it judges the attitudes of your heart. Yes, and right. it, exactly, that. it exposes it, that. our innermost thoughts yeah. and desires. That's what it does. And so right. that's yes. why it's so powerful. Yes, alive and active mm. That's why I try to tell people the word is not just like we talk. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. The word got inherent power in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Back by heaven. You, I can preach and watch people change. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. I can yes. watch the word yes. change them. Yeah. And so... Why would people crowd into a building to sit there for a whole weekend to listen to somebody talk? Mm. Exactly. They wouldn't if it wasn't the Word of God That's because right. that Word That's right. changes people. That's right. Yes, it does. It renews their mind. It gives them hope. It changes people. Yes. And confessing, listening to somebody else is great. Mm -hmm. But when you start confessing right. that Word out loud yourself, mm -hmm. yes. and you don't have to do it in front of people. Just, no, exactly. just Take 10 things that the Bible says is reality that are not true in your life yep. and write them down and start yes. confessing them out loud two, three, four times a day. Yes. And you see what happens in a few Post months. Post it in your yeah. car. Yeah. So yeah. when you're driving yeah. by yourself, yeah. you're just, it's right there in front of you and you're just confessing them while you drive. It, rene you know? it helps renew yes. your mind. Yeah. It's one yes. of the big things that renews your mind. Yeah. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.